Hey everybody, my name is Xander and I'm on season two of King of the Nerds. I'm your resident gamer, so <laughs> it's spelled G-A-Y-M-E-R, and I'm here to answer a couple of questions. And I'm Shay, and I'm just going to ask the questions, so let's get started. All right. Um, who are your favorite male and female nerds in the past or present? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I definitely have to say, uh, like, fellow LGBT icons, people like George Takei, uh, Ian McKellen, you know, the, they really paved the way to make it acceptable in the media to, like, not only be nerdy, but to be a person uh, within the LGBTQ community. You know, to really uh, love what you love and not be ashamed of it. So definitely those would be my nerd icons. People like Alan Turing, even, who was fundamental in, in uh, computer science, but was also a gay man, even though it was super controversial at the time. Awesome. Yeah. I heard that you're in a, a Reddit group for um, LGBT gamers. Yeah. Something like it, that. That sounds really cool. Yeah, it's the subreddit Gamers, G-A-Y-M-E-R-S, and uh, they have meetups and stuff like that, especially like out in Los Angeles where I live. You know, we can get together and, and nerd out over things. That's awesome. All right, so um, are you a console, handhold, handheld, or PC gamer? Whew, that's tough. Uh, I grew up console, um, so I, there's nothing better to me than like sitting on a couch with a controller in my hand. Um, I also love handheld. I have a DS Fat, like the old DS. Okay. That I have an R4 card for, which is piracy, and don't do that. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I play it all the time. And then um, I, I like PC gaming, and I just wish I had a better rig for it, because right now I do a lot of stuff on my MacBook. And that's not the best. Like, I have a Steam account on it and stuff like that, but it's not the best for uh, PC gaming. But I do have lots of friends with amazing PCs, and so I mooch off of them and play their games. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do you have any special talents or habits that most people don't know about? Uh, well, I think they covered it in King of the Nerds is like my superpower is the ability to blink really fast. Uh, <laughs> that came about when, when I was a kid. I was told that animation is done by drawing a picture, so it's frame by frame. And so I sat there and trying to see each frame and then eventually I just started blinking and watching it. My, my mom thought I was having a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your favorite video game? Uh, also a really hard question. Um, on the questionnaire I answered that it was The Secret of Monkey Island because that's one of the first video games that I really got into, like hardcore. I had to play all the time, figure out all mm -hmm. the secrets, and like be a completionist in that. So I love the old like point-and-click adventure games. And, Games that you can like figure stuff out. I'm not one for like first-person shooters or anything like that, but um, I do love Smash Brothers. I play Smash Brothers all the time. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I love RPGs, things like Kingdom Hearts, Legend of Zelda, Final Fantasy. Like those are all of my favorites. Sweet. Um, yeah. What is the first console you ever played? The first console I ever played was the Atari. And that <laughs> might <laughs> that might age me a bit, but not really because. Uh, we were in like a church basement, and that's what they had was an old Atari with like E.T. and Superman, and those are like the <laughs> worst games. <laughs> but I would play it forever. And Pitfall, I think we had Pitfall. Uh, but at home, we we got an NES, and so I even remember sitting down with my mom or with family members and playing Mario. And at that time, it wasn't like a gamer type of thing. It was like the family sat down and played games together, right. just like a board game. What is the first convention you've ever been to? The very first one? Yeah. Uh, I'd have to say, well, do Renaissance fairs count? Because <laughs> <laughs> I went to Renaissance fairs uh, earlier on uh, when I was living in the Midwest, and I didn't really go to conventions until I moved out to Los Angeles because that's where they are. Right. You know? It, uh, I think I might have gone to like one or two in the Midwest, but it was like an anime convention type of thing. Like, uh, I can't remember the names of it, but you know that kind of thing. But out okay. here, uh, I love going to Strategicon, which is coming up, which is the strategic board gaming convention. I go to okay. Anime LA, I go to Anime Expo. Sometimes I can get into E3, and that's always amazing. Which so, one is your favorite? Ooh, I love the energy of Anime Expo. Because that's really a con, and that's really where people are there and they're dressing up, and everybody just has this great energy. 
But E3 is an experience that's <laughs> like something <laughs> to behold, you know. <laughs> um, what is your favorite time period and which would you love to live in? I guess it kind of goes hand in hand. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie. I love living right now. Like, I love mm -hmm. living in the future type of thing because, you know, there are things that I like about the past, but I wouldn't want to live in it because I like running water and I like having somewhat <laughs> equal rights as a gay man. You know, like things yeah. that people have fought for for a long time that, that don't exist. Uh, but that being said, like, I love the en end of the 60s, beginning of the 70s. That's really cool. But I also love medieval times, of course, like right. being a LARPer. Like, I pretend that I'm in this fantasy medieval world all the time anyway, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Ah, uh, the thing that I think they don't mention a whole lot on the show is that I am an actor. And even though I, I'm on the show as an actor, I am a nerd. So I'm not an actor playing a nerd on the show. Like, that's really who I am. Right. But acting has always been my focus. That's what I went to school for, and hopefully I see myself working on a myriad of projects that I'm really proud of uh, as an actor. Okay. Um, one last question before I get into the King of the Nerd stuff. Sure. Um, are there any YouTubers that you always love to watch? Yes. Uh, I love YouTube. Um, and, of course, got a shout-out to Jay Witz because he's amazing. <laughs> but um, I, my YouTube taste kind of is like teenage girl type of thing. <laughs> I love watching uh, Daily Grace, but she's not on Daily Grace anymore. She's on It's Grace, so it's Grace Helbig. Uh, and that whole holy trinity, like I love Hannah Hart and Mamrie Hart, uh, My Drunk Kitchen and You Deserve a Drink. I love Tyler Oakley, uh, Neil McNeil from Geek and Sundry and Becca Canote, and they do Geeking Out. You know, uh, the whole YouTube community has, is really amazing. Uh, Will and RJ at Chef689. Um, yeah, so I get, if I go on YouTube, I get lost for hours because I'm just, like, catching up on videos or watching whatever. Right. I'm the same way. <laughs> yeah. Right, Dodger's so really cool, too. Who? Dodger. I don't know oh, if you've heard of Dodger. She's, I haven't. I'm going to have to look her up. highly recommend her. She's very entertaining. Okay. Um... <laughs> If you were able to take one item from Nerdvana, what would it be? You mean that I didn't take already? No, I'm yeah. just kidding, producers. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, let's see. Well, the, uh, speaking of gaming rigs, they had an amazing, I think it was Alienware rig that was set up there that we could play. Wow. Um, yeah, they had Borderlands on there, uh, Borderlands 2 there, like, constantly, but it had, like, the three monitors set up, and we would sit down and play. And that was beautiful. And it had, like, the whole, like, cooling system and everything like that, like, really advanced that you had to take care of and water your computer. Wow. So, yeah, I, that, I think for the most expensive stuff, I think that's what I would take. <laughs> Besides my experiences and the wonderful friendships. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> That's like what we have set up over here right now. I have like two monitors going over here, and my boyfriend has two over there, and then he has music recording equipment. It's just like an entire half of an apartment is desks nice. and computers. <laughs> oh, man, color me jelly. <laughs> <laughs> it took some time to get together. Yeah, sure. Okay, if you couldn't win, who on the show would you root for? Um, I think this will become apparent more in the next episode, but Mary-Kate and I became very, very close. And they haven't really shown it, but right away we got really close. We bonded over RuPaul's Drag Race over all things. <laughs> but, you know, uh, she and I were kind of the drinkers in the house, and so we, we just bonded right away. So uh, I'm a Mary-Kate supporter, so I'm rooting for her. Oh, uh, so what's your uh, beverage of choice then? Uh, I like gin and tonic. That's what I drink because I'm a grandpa. <laughs> um, but, but there was an open bar in Nirvana, so we got to try a whole bunch of different stuff. And Mary Kay was like an expert on, like, you want this and this and this. And she's a scotch drinker. That's and, awesome. you know, yeah, I can sit down with a glass of scotch, but it's not my drink of choice. Right. <laughs> okay, um, is there anything you wanted to say on the show that you didn't get the chance to or wish you had now that it's over? Uh, not really. I, I'm really proud of the game that I played uh, on King of the Nerds, and I think that they're really showing me in a favorable light. I think they could have uh, taken some of my, like, meaner confessionals when I didn't know anybody, and I was just making snap judgments. Uh, so I'm glad that they kind of, like, didn't post those. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I've pretty much said my piece. <laughs> okay. 
Um, who was your favorite? You watched season one, I'm assuming, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. who was your favorite from season one, and what was your favorite challenge? Oh, this is hard because now I've met a lot of them, and they're all, like, fantastic people. Yeah. Um, watching the show, my favorites were Brandon and Ivan because I think that I was very similar in, like, sense of humor-wise. Brandon, I love his jokes, and I love his sense of humor. And then Ivan and I have a lot of shared interests, and I connected with that on the show. But after hanging out with people, like, they're great. I love them. But Mujige is an amazing person to hang out with, and she was so much fun. Uh, same thing with Genevieve, too. I think we really connected and, and got to, to hang out. So can I say all of them? Because yeah. <laughs> everybody was amazing. Um, and then my ch the favorite challenge from last year, I think the um, the sumo wrestler one where they had to go, like it was, it was Ivan and Josh, yeah, and they had to like go and slam up against a sumo wrestler. Right. I think that's on my bucket list of things to do is like tackle a sumo wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite. It was so funny. Yeah, yeah. I love it. it it looked like fun. And last question for King of the Nerd stuff. Um, how did you get on the show? Or are you not allowed to tell us that? No, I can't. Uh, uh, I had mentioned this before, but I was approached through that Reddit group uh, for season one to be on it, and I declined because I didn't want to be a part of something I thought was making fun of nerds or like laughing at our expense. Right. But then after watching season one, I saw that it was really a celebration, and like the show has a lot of heart and a really good message. And so, and it looked like fun. So I was like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll be a part of it." So I contacted them for season two, and I had to go through the same process as everyone else, like submitting videos and interviews and things like that. Um, but they actually told me that I wasn't on the show, and I went home for a wedding to Wisconsin, and um, and I was in a bar like with my mom, and we were like five beers in, and I get a call from Beverly Hills, and they're like, "Hey, are you still interested in the show? Because we need the paperwork by uh, tomorrow." So I was like, compose yourself, like, yes, I'm very interested in the show, thank you for contacting me. And I was like, mom, we got to go home, we got to fill out this contract. <laughs> so, That's great. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was kind of a whirlwind, but yeah. Well, I'm really glad you made it. <laughs> me too. <laughs> okay, so I have two questions from some fans that um, I told that we were doing all this, and I asked people sure. if they had any questions for you. Um, uh -huh. One of them was, do you like the show Drawn Together? Uh, I think it's funny. Um, I get compared to Xander from Drawn Together a lot, which mm -hmm. I'm okay with, because I, too, am in a quest to find my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I think that it's a great satire on, um, like, that reality show genre, which I'm now a part of, but... Um, the, uh, as far as like fictional Xanders that I'd like to be compared to, like he's not very high on my list. I like the Xander from Buffy. Like he's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I'm a huge Power Rangers Sentai fan, and so there's a character named Xander on Power Rangers Mystic Force, and he was um, my favorite from there. Oh, cool. So those are my fictional Xanders that I relate to. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> and this one's from Zach, who runs the Nerd Chat Hangouts with me after the show airs every Thursday. Uh -huh. um, he would like to know if you have any fantasy fandoms, or what would they be? Yeah, uh, you know, I'm a part of, I love Tumblr, and so I feel like as part of being in Tumblr, you're in its own fandom, and then you become a part of these other fandoms. Um, for me, I'm a Homestuck, I don't know if you know what that is, but it's a webcomic online, and it's like a huge community, and it's, it's engrossing, it's like the Iliad of the internet, um. Uh, but Homestuck is a big one for me. I'm wearing a Welcome to Night Vale shirt, uh, <laughs> which is like a podcast uh, based off of H.P. Lovecraft. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. I, I haven't finished it, but I love Supernatural. Like, I'm in that fandom. Doctor Who, um, Sherlock. I just watched the new uh, finale for the rec most recent season. Awesome. Yeah. Just, I can go on and on. Like, Avatar The Last Airbender, uh, Legend of Korra, like that whole thing. Scott Pilgrim, like... You name it, I'm probably a fan of it. <laughs> There's just so much now, it's like, oh. Yeah. Well, even, like, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and Dungeons and & Dragons, like, that's my jam, so. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, that's all the questions I have for you. All right, well, thank you so much, Shay, and I'm thank glad you. you asked me to do this. I appreciate it. I will send you the video in a little bit. Cool beans. Bye. Thanks so much. Bye. Thank you.